Yeah, you already know what it is, man. It's your boy Kill So Frosty Flat was the movie. Flat was the movie. Two on the way. God City, God City TV, Gangs of the City, God City Web Series, God City Podcast, God City Everything, man. Back with some more entertainment news for y'all, man. This time we back in Brooklyn, where basically Nas Blakey is back on his demon time. You know what I'm saying? As you already know, his picture surfaced where he was in the hospital, and he basically re- released a picture where he's still on his bull. But he also had did like a little freestyle, whatever, talking to sh- talking to John. But now he's back out, basically dropped the song on PG16, basically yesterday. And it's basically back to talking about the dead, back to everything, you know what I'm saying? Well, I don't know. What I can say about this is this, man. I thought that the young boys would at least be smart enough to at least play the low as everything is heating up so much, you know what I'm saying? You got the mayor and everybody out there talking. They're talking about the feds is picking up all these things. And I felt like it wasn't. It, it was not the right time to drop the video, flashing all the guns and everything, when that's like the main focus where the mayor's already talking about. You get where I'm coming from? But, like I said, it's got to be... It's not like he doesn't have elders around him because you see his step pops has released the statements trying to trying to curve the whole situation about it. But I guess sometimes the streets is more important to these dudes than actual life and living. You know what I'm saying? With all the drama surrounding drill music right now, I don't even think it was smart to really drop the video with all the guns and all this and the that because they are talking about how the labels are basically not really signing nobody doing that. So I don't know if he has a situation already. Maybe he can still do it. But as of right now, I, the word is, is like the labels are not really messing with that right now due to everything that's been going on. The, the NYP, especially NY labels, because the NYPD, the mayor, the DA is putting pressure on the labels to stop getting these kids deals if that's what they're doing you get what i'm coming from so i don't know if he's thinking like that or he just wants to make sure the streets know that he's now no sucker john so he don't want to hide or nothing like that but releasing that video was kind of like uh i don't know i felt like maybe he should have released a song where he probably talked about the situation real life situation you ain't got to talk about the dead you could just talk about the situation that you go through at this point these boys been through so much i think they could start um, doing music about things that they go through and really make it like a, a more meaningful track instead of just dissing homies and dissing the dead. You know what I'm saying? But I know the peer, it's like, it seems like the peer pressure is getting to them where they feel like, oh, y'all calling me a sucker, y'all calling me a pastor or whatever because you know there's a bunch of people, they out there whatever saying what, what they got to say to make these fun of these dudes. So I felt like he felt like he had to and show these dudes like, nah, I'm not no sucker jaw, I'm back. It's Nas Blicky, whatever, whatever. Although that's one of my favorite artists out there that's on the come up. I still feel like he could he could really drop a many men type song. You get where I'm coming from? Like a song where he's talking about how many times they attempted to, to take his life and all that other stuff. But what can you say, man? It seems like it's more important for them to keep the strict credibility than actual real credibility. But like I said, there's a lot of Fed things going on right now. And these guys should really be aware of what's really happening out here. And I'm saying you can't just be doing it all for the... For the clout or the likes Like I said If he's in a situation With a label already Then granted He's okay already But if he's not I don't think That's gonna help him Get where he's going Because of the strength That the the, the mayors And everybody Is so 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 on it right now You get I'm coming from They're really on these boys They're really on these guys The drill music About all the violence And the smoking on the dead And stuff like that So I don't know man Like at this point I just gotta I just gotta watch it play out And see what's gonna happen Because you know, this is not the first time they really try to, um, like, stop a certain type of rap. Like, back in the days, they used to feel like, oh, we got to stop gangster rap. You know what I'm saying? If you go back to Bone Thugs and Harmony song, in the beginning, they had to talk about how we're not against rap. We're not against rappers, but we're against those thugs. It seems like, that was about 28 years ago, by the way. And it seems like now, that's the type of message that um, Eric Adams is basically sending out. Like, yo, dogs, we're not against rap or nothing, but we're against those guys that's going to be talking crazy or whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Somebody got to get in these guys' ears and let them know your God. You got to try to play it smart right now, you know what I'm saying? Especially if you want to get signed, you want the labels to pick you up, you may want to chill out with all of that, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. Check out this video, PG-16 is out. I can't lie, it's a hot song. But, you know, like I said, it's a hot, disrespectful song, you know what I'm saying? So, holla at me, let me know how you feel about it in the comments. Hit your boy up on IG, at K-A-Y-O-S-O-F-R-O-S-T-Y, gang.